Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. Today we're talking about heart failure. Heart failure is when the heart no longer functions as a pump. And if we look at the heart, you can break it up into the right-hand side and the left-hand side. The left-hand side of the heart receives nice oxygenated blood from the lungs and delivers that oxygenated blood to the body. Once the body's got the oxygen, it then sends this deoxygenated blood back to the right-hand side of the heart, which then pumps it to the lungs to receive oxygen and the whole cycle starts again. So you can actually get cases where the left-hand side of the heart fails or the right-hand side of the heart fails. So let's have a look at the different signs and symptoms for each. So if you look at the left-hand side, knowing that when the left-hand side contracts or pumps, it sends oxygenated blood to the body, if this now fails in left-side heart failure, no oxygen coming to the body. That means the individual may become tired and fatigued. In addition to that, the brain and kidneys think, well, if we're not getting enough oxygen, how can we remedy this situation? I know we can increase blood pressure. How can we do this? Don't pee out fluid, hold on to the fluid, keep it in the blood. This will increase blood volume and therefore increase blood pressure. Doing so, urine output decreases. And also, because of the holding on to all that fluid, weight gain may also occur as well. Now, because no oxygen's been delivered, the heart may try and compensate by beating irregularly. It may beat harder, it may be faster, it may even sometimes skip a beat. So an irregular heartbeat is not an uncommon sign or symptom. Now, what's happening behind? Well, because the blood's not coming out to the body, it starts to back up and it actually backs up into the lungs. And so now you have a fluid buildup in the lungs. This is called pulmonary edema. When there's fluid in the lungs, it's more difficult for gases to exchange. And so again, this associates with the tiredness and fatigue as well. Also, difficulty breathing. If we look at the right-hand side of the heart now, some similarities, some differences. Firstly, the blood that comes out of the right-hand side goes to the lungs to get oxygen. If the right-hand side no longer functions as a pump, blood's not getting to the lungs, no oxygen, that means the body's not getting oxygen, tiredness and fatigue as well. Again, the heart tries to compensate by having an irregular heartbeat, similar to the left-hand side. And if you look at what's happening behind, well, because the blood's not coming out, it starts to back up into the venous system, which is coming from the whole body. That means the pressure in this venous system increases and fluid starts to leak out throughout the entire body. And because of gravity, it drags this fluid down to your lower extremities. And so you get edema, which is fluid buildup in the tissues in the lower extremities. And again, this can be associated with weight gain. So as you can see, these are the differences between left side versus right side heart failure.